Well, well what? Weren't you gonna tell Billy, Neville, and all of us what have you been up to, despite I was there as well with Molly? Yeah, yeah! Oh shit! Yeah, come on Dennis, we were waiting in silence for 25 minutes, so spill the Heinz baked beans with sausages. Alright, this is what I've been up to today. And this was the story Dennis told them. All right, everyone. It all went like this. It was a very sunny morning, obviously, and uh, I thought I would bond a bit with Nia, get to know her a bit more, like as good friends. And Percy was kind of bored, and then... He suggested that we prove ourselves worthy and pretend to be secret agents or something. Agent Grey, this is Agent Grey, coming into Agent Kenya and Agent Post, come in, come in. Over. I am up here, over. Aha. What about Agent Post? Does, are there any whereabouts of Agent Post? I'm over here. Hi. Watch. Okay, agents, we gotta prove ourselves worthy, like I said. Does anyone got any ideas? Hmm. Well, uh. I know! Let's go and help people! Good idea, Agent Kenya. Let's go, go, go! I said this once, and I said this before. What is it with all you guys moving around? What's wrong with me stick around a brand new dock? Stay Carly or Big Mickey or someone. Listen to me, boy. You will do as you are told. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm, I'm listening. Now then, Crane, I want you to lift this bag of powder and when Thomas comes by, right, I want you to drop it so we can make him blind and he couldn't see. And then Wamu, I'll be able to catch that number one engine. But Bear, that's a bit ridiculous. Wouldn't it make sense if you just put him from the line and he charges into it by accident? Shut up, I know what I'm doing. I'm the bear, I'm the bear. With brown fuzzy hair. Alrighty, agents. Oh, hello, Bear. Dennis, what are you doing here? Causing trouble? Cause don't you worry. 
I'll go back up with me, and we could kick you three against one. What about four against one, because Cranky's here? Oh no, uh, I'm just here because Bear moved me for some reason. Because he wanted uh, no, no, I, the Fat Controller wanted me to move him here because, um, because, uh, there's a thing happening here and uh, he wants Cranky here. Huh, fair enough. All right, everyone. But do you want any help? Uh, no, 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 no. Are you sure? Fuck off. Yeah, fine, as you wish. Come on, you two. Okay. Hmm. I'm really useful, legend, you know. <laughs> Quick, Cranky, grab the fucking thing and drop it. Here he comes, Cranky. Let him have it. Uh, whoops. Oh, you bet your ass, whoops. Hello, bear. Hello, Cranky. This is useless. I don't know why I'm bothered with you, Crane. You can figure out your way back to the fucking docks yourself. Oh, okay. Alrighty, Diesels. I know that uh, Flannels and Cheeky didn't get a lot. He only got two. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, Diesel! Oh, oh, oh hi, Bear. Um, oh, what have you done to yourself? Oh, 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 now you know. Well, basically, Diesel, I tried to get a hold of Thomas, and my trick was to use Cranky to drop powder on him so he couldn't see, and by the looks of things, he fucking dropped on me. I know, it backfired. What a disgrace. And I've got powder all over my front cab, and it might have gone into my wheels, and then that's about it. So, yeah, I'm covered in powder. Y do you know how that feels? No, 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 no. And also, flannels are cheeky back. They only got two diesels. Oh. Who are you? I'm Stewie. And I'm Andreas. Pleasure to meet you. Pathetic, but I digress. Now, Diesel, I want you and your group of eight to come with a plan to kidnap Thomas or do something so we can get him. But why? Are you questioning my orders, Diesel? No, no, no! Good. Now, Flannels, come and give me a wash. What? Are you joking? So you question your master as well? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh yeah, look. <coughs> oh, that was awful. Now clean me up. Okay. Now the rest of you, you gotta figure a good plan. I don't care if you have a shitload of them. Get that tank engine. Alrighty, my fellow minion friendos. We've took over this island before and failed, and you lot took over a steelworks on the mainland. But failed, but this could be our chance to prove ourselves worthy and defeat Thomas and all the engines on Sodor by taking Thomas hostage and give them what we want. Is that a good idea? Huh. Fine, D. Now then. We'll prove them all that we are number one. Now let's go. Uh? Oh, come on. Sorry.
Just follow my moves and sneak around. Be careful not to make a sound. Just sneak about with graceful skill. And now, stand absolutely still. No, don't touch that. We are number one. Hey! That I've designed. I think it's pretty clear that I'm the mastermind. Be very, 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 very careful. Don't touch a thing. You'll never know the problems it could bring. Don't touch the no, no, no. We are number one. Now look at this net that I just found. When I say go, be ready to throw. And go! <laughs> throw it on him, not me! Oh, let's try something else. Now watch and learn. Here's the deal. You slip and slide on this banana peel. Ha, ha, ha! What are you doing? So, Agent Post, anyone in distress to help? Oh no, Agent Dennis! Guys, help, help! Or is it Agent Kenya? Yeah, what is it, Mia? I mean, I mean Agent Kenya? It's Diesel! I think he's plotting something! Come on, quick, come and look! There's no time to lose. Okie dokie! Are you sure they won't find us here? Positive! Alrighty, boys. After knowing where Thomas's route goes, wait, 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 wait. Is that what we were doing the entire time? Oh yes, Scaredy. And my God, clean yourself up. You're still covered in powder. Uh, fine. Anyways, boys, we'll set a trap. We'll divide Thomas into a siding where he'll be launched off of a catapult and then crashing into a pile of powder. Yeah. What is that supposed to do, D? Simple. He'll be off the rails and, uh, yeah, we've got him. Ba-boom! <laughs> Alrighty, let's build this thing. What do they want with Thomas? I don't know, but I think they could be using him to hold him hostage. What should we do? Alright, I've got an idea. Percy, go find the fat man and tell him what Diesel's doing. Tell him all about this. And also tell him about Bear, because I think Bear could be behind all this. What makes you say that? Think about it, Neil. Even though you're kind of new on Soda, but on the past few events, Bear has been trying to defeat me and my friends. Well, not Percy. What? I'm joking, Percy, but you get the idea, do you, Percy? Yeah. So what I'm saying is Bear could be behind all this, and he could be telling Diesel and his friends from the past to come and take us out. And ba-boom, ba-bing. So they're using Thomas as a bait. They knew that we'll go and save Thomas, so yeah. Oh, I see. So there. Percy, tell the fat man everything. Okay, I will. And tell him everything. Diesel, bear, everything. Okay, I'm at it. Woo! Now then, we'll see what's going on. There we go, D. All set up. Now then, what's the plan? Well, simple. We divert Thomas onto the wrong line, and it will go on the catapult, and it will launch into that, and boom, we got him! Hmm. Right, 
Mirror, I've got an idea. What's the plan? Hold the... Oh! Stewie! Run away! Sorry. Anyways, as I was saying, I'll go and shout the points, points thing that uh, Percy taught me, and what that will do, Thomas will divert onto the wrong track, and then I'll get Diesel to chase me onto the same line, and then, ba boom ba bing, he'll get launched into his own trap, while you push Stewie off the thing, and Stewie will fall onto the other side of the catapult seesaw. Oh, I like your thinking. Right, let's go. Uh, not to alarm you or anything, do you, but uh, uh, Thomas is coming. <laughs> uh, hi, Thomas. Hi, Diesel. Boy! Wait, what? Oh, he's getting away. What do we do? Uh, change of plan. We keep it you hostage. You gotta have to catch me first. <laughs> Get back here. Quickly, dear. No. Wait, what? Oh, no. Ah! Oh, no. Come back and you all are still arsing around. I just saw Thomas back then. What the? In this behavior. I say Diesel's out cold. Hooray! Well done, Mia. You do! You two! Oh, I knew you'd have something to do with this. When I get my hands on you, I will. The fat control arrived at the scene of the crime. Da -da 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 hello, hello, hello. I got all of them. I shoot. My new shoes and it's all over my shoes. Right then, what's going on here? Breakfast! Bear, I know who you are, but do you think you're funny? Do you think you're funny? You're not fucking funny. I'm sorry, but you're not fucking funny. None of this is. Percy told me everything. What? And also, there is no use in trying to run. You fucking surrounded bitch. And I think I will ask the person that knows all of what of your evil doings. Bear, take it away, Jenish. Thank you, thank you, Judge Topham. Uh, I've got a new someone to make myself represent taller. Do you got a stand I could borrow? Oh, yes, uh, give me a second. There we go. Now then, where do I begin? Bear has been doing all this since the very beginning. If you can remember, Topham, when Henry, Edward, Toby, Thomas and Salty and Rosie were out of action, Bear secretly sent the black and yellow diesel next to him to kill them. And he's managed to take out Toby the most. What? How did you know? Flannels! What did you... Uh, I think I might have spouted out in the opening, and I don't think I double-checked if anyone was around. Flannels, you fucking moron! Now everyone will know what you've done! And also, let us not forget the time that uh, Bear pretended to be a nobody engine by pretending he had a crown of a long-lost private engine's ancestor. He did this as a trick to get hold of Warrior, aka 16 place, what have you. And we can already tell that backfired, and so he gave it to the last person in the line, that was Neville. And he would take this to an advantage as to throwing all the Fneedville engines in the prison cell and taking the castle down with it, with Neville and everyone else inside it. And then there was the time he tried to throw Bash or Dash, I guess, off a cliffside, but luckily Hank and Billy managed to stop him in time. And here we are today. The bear was going to use Diesel and his 
little friends from a few, from a year ago, I believe. I'm not very sure my history. When we all ganged together and stopped them, they all decided. Bear decided to use Diesel to bring them to be his minions, and who knows to possibly overthrow Diesel by the looks of things. And by being the boom, I think the plan kind of worked. And here we are now, a plan backfired by Bear as usual. So, that explains everything. The engines being out of commission. Everyone going to the shooting yards for no rhyme or reason. I mean, I could I could be bothered to get out of the office that they was just um. I, I couldn't be bothered yet. I was busy with papers. I just I picked my head out of the window and I was like, "What? What the hell are you all do? What the hell are you all doing there?" But uh, yeah. But the one thing I don't understand is um when Bash and Jash try to chase me while I made my clean getaway. Oh yeah, that was also bad as well. You managed to get a truck to trick them to try and kill you. Oh, so that explains that as well. Is that so? Well, Jenny, on behalf of you. Billy, Molly, Neville, Hank and Flora, and also Bash and Jash, which I haven't seen around recently, for some reason, I don't know why, but on behalf of you, lovely lot, thank you. You've managed to save my railway going in a bad reputation and possibly a downward spiral. No worries, sir. Anything to please more friends. Ah, oh, well, in that case, free cheers for Dennis and the friendos. Oh, fuck. You are driving my patience! And to think I came back from the wash as well! Like, honestly, I'm now filthy! <laughs> same here. Oh, you know, after this, I'm leaving you guys. You guys are a fucking mess. <laughs> You're the one to talk! I got powder in my monocle and my new top hat! Yuck! Disgusting! Well then, D, like, like Fat Man just said, you're being overthrown. Uh, not your uh, radio deep radio figure, me. I think Jesus is conscious. Well then, what do we do now? Well, Jen, Mr. Bear, you have caused Jerash. I haven't even said this in the show. I mean, that, that's kind of out of character for me. Confusion Angele! You have caused confusion Angele on my railway for the last time. Blowing up engines, trying to get them out of action, action to go on the downward spiral. Whatever made you think of that? Uh, Boko! Yeah, it, yeah it, it was all Boko's fault that I went and done this. Done this. Even when we all stole the crown. Of course, it's always Boko. Boko's not here. He, I sent him away. Do you know why I sent him away, Bear? Because, eh, uh, I'm trying to think now, because he was being useless and I couldn't afford the money to keep him around, so I had to send him away. And by the looks of things, you, my friend, are going to have the same treatment. And if you ever, and I mean ever, come back to my railway again, I will kick your ass where you stand, and I will beat the shit out of you. Yes, sir. And as for you, Jesus, you're staying in the steelworks where you belong, and you're not coming out of there for the rest of the year. If you ever come out of there, I will beat the shit out of you with my belt. Now, if you excuse me, I'm off to sign some papers in my non-existent office. So after the mess was cleared up, the Fat Controller sent Bear and Diesel's minion friends away. Oh, and as for Diesel, he finally came around. And let's just say the Fat Controller is giving him an ultimate punishment. And that's what I've been up to today. So what are you saying? Simply, I've managed to get Bear eliminated from Sodal. He's gone, capiche? Banished from Sodal into the mainland where he belongs. The green bastard. Whoa, holy shit! This is why we need people like you, Dennis. 
You've put to prove ourselves worthy, meaning to the test. You've managed to do it. Hooray for Dennis! Well, Dennis, I never knew you had it in you. Well done, my man. You've managed to stop something that's been on our backs. Yep. Don't hold your hopes too much. Bear could come back for revenge. Oh shit, you're right. What do we do? Oh, we can do what I do best. Being lazy and not have a care in the world and all that crap. Alrighty then. Hey, weren't you were supposed to tell us something, Neville? Uh, I forgot now. Wait a minute, you forgot! My fat controller arrived! Oh yeah, I made it back because I'm the narrator. I forgot I was narrating all this. Da -da 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 Jaw. Well done, Dennis. I'm still proud of you. Getting rid of Bear. I mean, yeah, as you could stand him short. Good job. You are going to get a promotion and show your friends. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go and take a pee. Well, I'm tired. Nighty night, everyone. The wall on top of the set fell, didn't it? Yep. You've done good, Frederick. You've done good. Now then, time to see if those two are unconscious so I can put my plan into action. Wait a minute. Something's not right. Where the... What the... Where, where, where the hell she go? Ah, oh, crud. This isn't good. Ah, oh, crap. This is not good. I mean, it's not like she'll pop out of nowhere, and... <laughs> I gotta get out of here! Oh crap, she's getting away! Damn it! She got away. This is not good. Whatever she still has against Dennis, he's done for. Oh well, any deuce. I'll deal with her later. First, I need to get those two unconscious. Yeah, I think... Uh, what do I do? Uh, let's see... Oh, well, one of them's coming around. Uh, man, what a fall! <laughs> what the fuck?! Oh no! It took out my brother! Oh, what do I do? Hi. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, wait, I'm, I'm friendly, I swear, I'm friendly. Don't worry, I won't kill you. Where are your eyes? It's a long story, but firstly, is your brother awake? Uh, I think he's coming around. Oh, good. Then I can explain everything. Bash you, okay? I mean, the. What the. Oh! It's the. It's the thing! At the. What the hell? Alrighty, what's going on? Yeah, we want answers. Alright, I will explain everything. I'm Frederick. Well, that's. kind of a weak start. I do apologize, but. You are not dead. You're not in the afterlife, or what have you. I've been keeping you two here for a while, along with your mangled. Friend? <laughs> Friend, my ass. It tried to kill us. He tried to kill us. Well, technically, you're both wrong. It's a she. And also, I might be keeping her here for a while. Why? Well, simple. So I can remove all the robotic limbs and see if I can restore to full health like I've been doing to you two. You should be lucky that I've managed to rescue you two in time before you died. What? Well, you see, when the three of you were falling, I've managed to catch you all mid before you hit the floor. What do you mean? You're about this far from death. Somewhere here. Whoa. So I've been keeping you two here for recovery, and also, I've got some good news. A little bird told me, right, that you two 
I've been looking for your lost friend called Ferdinand. Yes, yes. I have a good idea of where he is. You do? Please tell us, we're on the edge of our non-existent seats. Oh, it's pretty simple, really. He's on the mainland, on a specific railway. But I've heard that he's travelling on the mainland now. Do you hear this, Bash? Yes, Dash! We're gonna be reunited! We're gonna be reunited! Alrighty, boys. Then, in that case, I'll show you the way out. Through those buffers? Yep. Well, go on, you two. There's a no point sitting around here unless you want to help. Uh, no, we'll, uh, we'll we'll see you again, Frederick. No problem, Bash. No problem, Dash. I'm Dash and I'm Bash. Or is it vice versa? Oh my god. Very simplistic names, but you can get the designs. It's so complicated. Oh well. On you go. Like I said this before, you've done good, Frederick. You've done good. Now then, time to experiment on the mangle. Try and get her back together. Curses. I knew Billy and his friends would foil me, but not the fucking lazy one. Hey, you think you had it that bad? I didn't expect D to come with us. I'm pretty sure he came before because he was banished or something. Well, what do you expect? I didn't expect that Fatty would still keep him. At least I still get to keep my top hat. Oh, cut the fucking back chat, Smarty. You and your top hat. Yada yada, we you get it. We love your top hat. Hey! So, not to alarm you, gentlemen, of everything, but what's the plan now? We can't go back to Soda or else Fatty will get us. Hmm, I don't know, but I'll get my revenge on that bastard Billy and his friends if it's the last thing I do. Who's Billy? He's friends with that grey one. I see. Now then, what's this about steelworks you keep mentioning? I hear you talk about that you and your friends took over when you became the ringleader. Well then, I'll show you. That's the steelworks. Oh, yes indeed, sir. Yep. And it's still going by the looks of things. So what do you suggest, since you're the ringleader of us all? Well then, meaning? I think we'll find a goods yard and lay it low there. And do odd jobs for them. What do you mean? As a camp out. No one will suspect the thing. Oh, I see where this is going. Excellent thinking, master. Yeah, very good thinking, sir. Uh, not to alarm you guys or anything, but what if they get suspicious of us? So, sure, sir, sure. we're just gonna camp there until the time is right? Yes, Timmy. And when the time is right, we'll overthrow the engines that work at the steelworks and make our secret plan of getting back of those bastards. Even if it takes us for all eternity.